We're back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, the fall from grace can either wake you up once you hit the ground, or you could just perish before you hit the ground, daydreaming while you're falling. I don't think that's what we're going to do, though. What can we do to get to Super Bowl 54? What should be the goals? What should be, what should be the main? What should be the number one thing? Because Super Bowl teams that are planning to get in the Super Bowl 54, they took a break. Well, the guys that didn't make it, the guys that didn't make it to the Super Bowl, once the offseason, once they got put out the playoffs, or once the offseason started officially, they got the business. They got to it. What could they do? What can we do to get to Miami? That's what it all starts to boil down to around this time. The good ones wake up early and go to work. We're not worried about what other franchises do. We're not. We're not worried about what nobody do. We worrying about doing us and being the best that we can be. So what can the Eagles do? What's the number one concern? What's the number one priority? The NFC East loves to say we have a quarterback debacle. That's what the Cowboys are saying. That's what the Redskins are saying. And that's what the New York football giants are saying. They're saying we have a situation. We have an issue. We have problems in the quarterback room. We have a controversy, the most popular word for things that people don't understand. They like to say it's controversy. We overstocked. How is being overstocked? How is the shelves being too full of controversy? If you got too many cases of water over in the house, is that ever a problem? The water's gonna get, you need a sip every now and then. But they don't look at things like that. No, 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 no. They don't look at things like that. They look at things as everything is a problem. If you don't name this guy, that guy, everything's a problem. Now, if we didn't have this problem, would we be Super Bowl champions? Would we be? Where would the New York, where, where would the Dallas Cowboys be if they didn't have Dak Prescott? Done. The Giants done either way you cut this pie. The Giants done regardless whoever's the number one or who's the number two. Where would the Redskins be? They're done either, either way. Where would, where would, where would, where would Green Bay be? Done. Where would New England be without Tom Brady? Done. Give me another, give me another team in the NFL that you feel secure with right now. If that number one go, guy go down, you still could win some playoff games in a Super Bowl with your number two guy. Nobody. We the only ones with the blessing that they like to call a controversy. At the end of the day, no matter who the number one guy is, we got a chance to win. We got a chance to win. And I want to be loud and clear about this. I feel like keeping them both is the best option. I feel like keeping both of them is the best option. It's proved to win. Keeping them both is the best option. Nobody else has that luxury. Nobody else is able to do what we did in the Super Bowl because they don't have the luxury of two number ones on the roster. The shelves being stocked, the shelves being too full, that's not a controversy, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You know what I mean? We are who we are. The number one priority, in my opinion, is to just name who's going to be the starter and start drafting your pieces around who you named. Because these guys both have different skill sets, but it all can pan out to the same result. Now, if you're going with Nick Foles, you don't want to draft. Now, this is just this is just an example. If you're going with Nick Foles, you don't want to draft somebody who just primarily plays in the middle of the field. No, nah. you want to draft somebody that can get out there and run. Nick Foles could throw the bomb. You want to draft somebody who could do both, play the middle and, 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 th and throw the deep ball too, and who you can throw the deep ball too. If you draft Carson Wentz, wh I, mean, I mean, if you decide to make Carson Wentz the number one guy, which is going to happen 99.9% .9 of the time, can you really trust Carson Wentz's deep ball after what you saw last year? Because the deep ball was trash, but the middle of the field, he was excellent. He was excellent in picking apart the middle of the field. Right now, the number one priority for the Philadelphia Eagles is to name the guy, be confident, be headstrong in what you're going to do at the quarterback position and start planning around that guy. Start planning around your quarterback. Name your defensive captain and start planning around your defensive captain. Get these things in order now so we can, so we can get back to business. So we can get back to business. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of talk going on that ain't got nothing to do with business. Name the guy and let's get it popping.
Name the guy, let's get it popping. That's all we got to do. Our job is easy. It's easy. They let the squirrel get a nut and we just hungrier. We just hungrier. We just hungrier. The hunger don't stop. The hunger can't stop because once you get two, you're going one three. Once you get three, you got to get four. Once you get five, oh, oh, I got to try to catch the Patriots and get six. It got to be like that. That got to be the mindset. That got to be the mindset. So a quarterback controversy, that's what y'all banking on? A quarterback controversy? Like y'all shouldn't be scared of either one of these quarterbacks? This is the way I see it. Everybody except the Philadelphia Eagles has a quarterback controversy. They got a quarterback problem because if number one go down, you're done. That's a controversy. We have a quarterback blessing. Please don't get it twisted.